snacks. What's good, Loaded Snacks Universe? Your boy Jokes here. I'm at All Star Comic Con 2019. Awesome! Appreciate it. Oh, I heard it all the way over there. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> Guys, I have a special guest with me right now. Kay, if you could do me a favor, please pan over and sir, if you can, introduce yourself. Good to see you, man. I'm uh, Arthur Sedam. They call me the uh, Zombie King here in Virginia. Lovely, uh, toasty, and humid Virginia. <laughs> so, day two. Normally, normally when we say day two, it's an extra day, but technically today is the last day. Yeah. Um, how have things been for you so far? Uh, very good, very good. Um, this is my first time doing this show, and it's uh, a, a nice show. It has a nice family feel about it. We really like that. A nice break from the big, nasty corporate show. The big, the big, big ones on that. The big, I, nasty ones. I agree. Yes. That's, that's one thing, same thing we love about it. It's just that family. Like, yeah. Everyone you talk to, your neighbors, you talk to yeah, everybody. We like a like, mom and pop show. That's what we like. Yeah. It's like, so what have you what have you seen so far that's been of interest to you while you're in here? Of interest? Well, you guys. <laughs> and then, uh, then a lot of the cosplayers. I've seen some nice cosplayers, some nice looking girls walking around. Okay, so, okay. Seen some good stuff. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. A beautiful scene. Good oh. food. What did we have last night? Last night we had the sushi, the night before, half the people in the restaurant, one in the restaurant were from Thailand, I'm a Muay Thai instructor. And that's how she was like, oh, my father was a Muay Thai instructor too, so she was very respectful. And the night before, we um, we did the Indian restaurant next to them. So it's been a very international experience, so it's been very cool. That's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah. So, of course, Zombie King, so can't help but to notice all this wonderful Amazing things you have going on. So give us, give us a little bit of rundown of what you got going on here. Okay. I know it's, um, a, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. No, I get, we, can get to, we can cut to the chase. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they call me the Zombie King because um, I started doing some hard titles for Marvel Comics in uh, 2005. I did particularly uh, four, one small title and then three of the biggest sellers of all time. One of which was Marvel Zombies. The Marvel Zombies is really what started the whole thing. Marvel Zombies is really instrumental in getting the Walking Dead show on TV. Um, I did Marvel Zombies, then we did the uh, Raise the Dead series. Uh, then I did uh, Army of Darkness vs. Marvel Zombies. Then I did Plants vs. Zombies. So we did about four or five series. Then I actually started the whole zombie phenomenon. And it kind of became like when the Beatles came over, when all those British bands came over. Everybody just started to lose their mind over zombies. And it started this whole big snowball going going downhill. Everybody started to say, wow, zombies are the biggest thing in the country. We gotta get a piece of this. At least all the people in LA did. So uh, Brad Pitt was like, oh, zombies are hot. We gotta get a piece of so he went out and he bought rights for World War Z. Toyota said, wow, zombies are hot. Oh, how are we gonna get a piece of this? They started putting zombies in their car commercials, uh, plans for zombies. The gaming company put out Plants vs. Zombies and became the number two game in the whole country. Remember Angry Birds was one, yeah. mm -hmm. Plants vs. Zombies was two. And that's just been growing since, ever since then. Uh, the Walking Dead finally got signed and it got even bigger yet. Um, so it's been a roller coaster ride for about, about 10 years. Right now I'm working on the new DC series okay. for, for DC Comics, that's this one right here. So it's basically like DC's version of Marvel Zombies, basically. I get it. Yeah. And uh, that's going really well, really cool. That's the cover issue one right there. Okay. Um, a lot of the actors for, for the uh, series have a lot of work hanging in their house. Many of the actors from The Walking Dead, their houses are full of lives. Clint Eastwood's got that one hanging in his house. He's got the little one. So it's very cool. It's been good. That's, that is absolutely amazing. Now, do me a favor. Yeah. For the folks that are not here at All-Star Comic Con, if they wanted to find your artwork or find or get a hold of you, where would they be able to go and find you? Uh, the best place is at a show. We're doing these Comic Cons almost every weekend. So come down to one of the shows. You get to meet all your, your favorite actors, your favorite comic artists, comic writers. Uh, there's a lot of great homemade uh, artworks, you know, and stuff like that. So Comic Con is really the best place. Other than that, I'm on Facebook at harryarthurstadium.com and uh, I have our website at arthurstadiumfacebook.com. That's perfect. Yeah. Sir, Gentlemen, much, much appreciated. Pleasure. Guys, it's, it's the last day 
but we still have a lot of work that we have to do. So I'm gonna take a step off and I'll catch you guys later. So, did you guys like what you saw? Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the dingling bell, so as we have new content come up, you guys will be the first to know. And also, hop on over to patreon.com forward slash loading snacks, where you can get the exclusive loading snacks content that you can't get anywhere else.